Well, good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to Retired for Life. So today, as I promised in a video that uh, I did a couple of weeks ago, we are going to put the Blue T battery station to a test here. Now, I've used this for a couple of days out on the siding job, and it did really good. But I do kind of want to know what it'll do. So we're going to put this thing through a torture test. But before we get going there, I've got a question for you. A number of videos ago, I changed the basic format for my video where there was very little talk. It was basically more me recording what I was doing on a certain job and filling in information with text and that type of thing for the most part. Now, I'd really like to know how you folks feel about that new type of format. Is that a format that you prefer over me standing and explaining things for a while at the beginning of each video? To me, I kind of like the new format because you don't have to listen to me. You can actually see me doing the job. So let's get on to testing this thing. So what are we going to do to test it? Well, I've got a ventilation fan that we're going to run and see how it handles that. It's a big fan. Um, I've got an old piece of two by four here that we are going to run through the table saw, see how it does with that. Now this is one I'm really curious about because this causes fuses to go on that type of thing pretty regularly. This is my heat gun. We're going to try that. I've got my hammer drill here and a big ugly hunk of cement with rocks and stuff in it. We're going to try that. And we're going to try the uh, DeWalt miter saw again as well. So what I've done is I've got a second camera set up looking at my cell phone that has the app on it. So we'll get that camera going with the app going and that camera is going to record the load that gets put on this thing and we'll see how it will do. Maybe we'll see just how far it'll go before it actually shuts off. All right, let's get set up and get started. Okay, I've got the app set up and recording. The app connects Bluetooth to this thing, uh, which is pretty cool. I've got the power on, I've got it set to AC. Now, one thing worth mentioning before we get going on this. So according to the manual, this thing has a uh, total of 1800 watts AC power. It can also handle a surge of 2700 watts. So that's a, a huge increase to go from 18 to handling a, a surge that high. Anyway, we're gonna see how it goes. Now, I don't think this will cause it much of a challenge, but let's just step things up and we'll see how it works. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's running at full speed. And right now we are drawing a mere 148 watts. So, not much at all. So that's easy. Let's turn that off. Okay, so much for the fan. But we're gonna come back to this. So next is gonna be this hunk of concrete. So I have my hammer drill here set up with a 5 8 bit in it. Okay, let's see how it handles this. So that surges to a little over 500 watts when it first comes on. Okay. 
Well, no problem there. So heat guns are kind of notorious for blowing breakers. This is a 1500 watt heat gun. All right, let's see what it does. So we're gonna go straight to maximum power on it. So I'm seeing about four, a little over 1400 watts. And yeah, it's hot. And it looks like this will run for about three quarters of an hour on full like that. Down to about 930 watts on the lower temperature. All right, let's go on to the next challenge. Okay, this one should be fairly substantial. I know that it takes quite a bit to power this saw, and I've got a piece of oak on here, so nothing easy to cut. We're not going easy on this thing. We're torture testing it, and let's see what happens. Nice clean cut on my piece of oak. I think that's red oak. Okay, on to the next challenge. Okay, here we go. I think this will be a challenge for it, but let's find out. We got everything recording. All right. It tripped out. Yeah, so that went down on overload. So I should be able to turn it off, turn it back on. Okay. Everything came back on just fine. We're back to AC output. Let's try it again. There's 15, 16. Now it's going down and tripped out. Hasn't quite got it to do that. All right, there's nothing jamming on the saw. So I'm, I'm actually a bit disappointed in that. From what I saw, it didn't get to 1800 watts. So we're gonna go to straight house current. Yeah, and it works fine. Well, to tell you the truth, I am disappointed in that. I was really hoping that it would power the table saw. And I don't see why it wouldn't. So what I think I'm going to do is actually contact Blue Tea, let them know what I'm seeing, and see what they say. Because as you saw, I read from the manual there that it's supposed to have a surge capability of 2,700 watts. And from what I saw here, we weren't anywhere near that. So, so I've got one more test that I wanna run, and this is an endurance test. So what I'm gonna do, unplug the table saw. I'm gonna set up my big ventilation fan, have it pointing out the door, and turn it on. And I'm gonna leave it run for the rest of the day. So we are down to 94% charge. So I'm thinking that fan should run for a really long time. So let's get it set up and we'll see what we get. All right, we got everything set up. It's 12 o'clock now. I'm gonna go in for lunch, continue on with other jobs. So we'll leave this running. So we're gonna target about four hours for this running and we'll see what we've got. Yep, 
Here we go. 94% on the battery right now. So let's see how it goes. I'll see you in four hours. Well, there we are, folks. That's the last of our tests. This is our endurance test here. All right, let's shut this down. There, now you can hear me. So that's pretty good. That's been going for four hours, just over four hours. We're down to 32% on the battery. So uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. So the final test that we've got is let's see how long it takes to charge this back up on regular charge. So from 32% to full. And this isn't going to be using the turbo charge. As I say, it'll just be regular charge. All right, let's go plug this in. All right, so there is the results of our charging. Now what has been just under one hour so it's gone from 32 percent up to about to hit 100 percent that's pretty good but it, as you can see right now there is about 300 watts going to it when i first plugged it in it was really whacking it to it it was uh over a thousand watts going into it so it uh, fluctuates as it needs. When it's low, it really goes at it. But it is in eco mode, so I'm not using the turbo mode, and I imagine that must be really fast. But from what I understand, the turbo mode is also hard on the battery, so I wouldn't do that. Anyway, there we go. We'll call that test complete. Well, I think that finishes our torture test of the Blue T AC180. In general, I'm quite pleased with how it performed. It did really meet and surpass my expectations, considering the size of it. When you watch the readings that I was getting while starting up the DeWalt miter saw and cutting that piece of hardwood, that was pretty amazing that this thing handled that. So, yeah. I'm quite pleased with the unit itself. Now, as for the issue I had with the table saw, so I saw the wattage go up to about 1700 and then everything shut off. And as I was saying, that didn't look right to me. So I decided to call their support. If you're gonna test a product, let's test everything about it. So I called their support line and Unfortunately, what I think I got was a call center. The person I talked to didn't really seem to understand what I was talking about. I let them know what I was seeing, the numbers I was recording from the app, and the numbers I was seeing directly on the machine, and what it is I was trying to run. And the response I got was, you can't do that. And that really wasn't much of an answer, and they didn't really have anything else that they could say. So I said, well, is there someone else that I can talk to? So yes, we do have technical people. All right, can I talk to one of the technical people? Well, the technical people are not available right now. Oh, so I guess I can't. So basically I thanked them and uh, that was the end of that call. So a bit disappointing dealing with the support line, but me being me, that really wasn't enough. So I started doing a little more research as to what was going on, including checking the power output from the saw. Now, when I put my uh, meter on it, I found that when you first turn on this saw, there is a surge and the surge is really quite high. It was up around 3,200 watts. So it's no surprise it didn't get to this, but why wasn't I seeing that on here? When you're looking at the, uh, the app, apps using Bluetooth, there is a delay in Bluetooth. So by the time Bluetooth would have registered it, the machine had already kicked out. So that makes sense to me, and we're just gonna let that go with that. This won't run a table saw. They never said it would. 
pretty much everything I had read about it and seen about it says it'll run 99% of your shop's hand tools. And it did. I didn't have a hand tool that it wouldn't run, even running the DeWalt miter saw. And that was pretty impressive because you could see how high that got. Anyway, long and short of it is the unit itself, I'm very pleased in. Their online support, eh, not so much. So just one last quick update for you on the uh, Bluetooth battery pack. I talked about the experience I had when I called in, in on the uh, support line with a couple of questions about why this unit seemed to cut out early and I wasn't really all that pleased with the response I got back from them. But I definitely have to give them credit because today they did call back and wanted to know if everything was all right and if there was anything else they could do to help. So despite what was initially a rather negative experience, I really have to give them points for still following up and trying to see if I was still having an issue and if there was anything else they could do. So I would say that that gives their support, in my mind, a big bump up and I appreciate them calling back to look into things to see if there was any other issue that was big of them. So thank you, Blue Tea, for doing that. Would I recommend this unit? Yeah, I think I would. This is going to go onto my mobile bench. I am going to be running hand tools with it. And I will be running, now that I know I can do it, and I will be running my miter saw with it as well. And that's going to be very handy when I start the other wall for the siding job that I'm going to be continuing on with. So if you're looking for relatively small, but relatively powerful battery pack, this seems to be it. It does the job. So that's gonna be it for today's video, folks. And don't forget to let me know what you think of the format I've been using for my videos, such as the ones for doing the siding job. I'd really be curious to know what you think and if that's a format that, uh, that you'd like and I should continue with. So for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found the video interesting and maybe a little helpful. So remember to be safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time.